I'm here in Metrogoya next to Apparition Hill and I'm this what's your name? Uh, Sean Fibbs. Where are you from? Uh, Seagirt, New Jersey. And you said it's the first time for you in Metrogoya? First time, yes. Yeah. What brought you here? Uh, my sister yeah. and her family came here over 20 years ago yeah. and uh, it's been a bucket list thing to do ever since. Uh -huh. So and, and then I had some cousins from Ireland yeah. uh, that were coming here. So I uh, flew to Ireland, I joined their tour, and came over to Medjugorje wow. with them. And how is the experience now? Uh, it's, it's been wonderful, yeah, it's been really, really nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's, you just uh, come down from Operation Hill? Yes. And how was it the is. experience? First time up there? Or? Uh, my second time up second there. Time. Yeah, the first time I went up with the group. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, this time I, I kind of got lost. I went up to the blue, the blue uh, cross first, yeah. and then I thought there was another path and somehow I found myself up in Aberration Hill wow. again. So, but that's a good thing. And how but was it up there? Uh, very nice, yes, yes. The, uh, the peace and tranquility up there is amazing. See, so many people and it's so quiet. Mm -hmm. you know. And so. Um, how was your Catholic journey so far in your life? Have you always been Catholic or you have had a pivotal moment when you came back to your faith? Or? Oh no, I was a, uh, I went to uh, 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 16 years of Catholic school yeah. and uh, I went to uh, Providence College which is uh, run by the Dominican Fathers mm -hmm. and then uh, before that was the Christian Brothers in high school and then the, before that was the Sisters of St. Joseph and the Sisters of Charity. Wow, you so, yeah. And you have always stayed in the Catholic faith or a lot of people, you know, like me, I went astray and like, away and I came back or you always stayed? Always stayed, always yeah, stayed. but yeah, yes. uh, but uh, my path wasn't all that straight, I guess. <laughs> yeah, mine, <laughs> <laughs> but not at all, yeah, like a stock market, you know, <laughs> up and down like a clown. <laughs> right, yeah. Mm. yeah. And but what would you tell people why come to Medjugorje after your, your experience here? Like? That's a really good question, um, because someone who's, who's never experienced it, uh, I, I don't know how, how I would describe it, but it's just something that you have to try. You, you, uh, you know, uh, you know, because we tend to, you know, just kind of go through the motions of uh, of our faith. Okay, but this is. Uh, I don't know if say the Super Bowl of religion, but... <laughs> this is the Super Bowl, Bowl. of religion, yeah, in Metsugoya, no? Right, yes. <laughs> you feel yeah. her presence here? A lot of people say they feel the presence of Our Lady? Uh, yes, I think you'd, you'd have to, yeah. Just off okay. the heart? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, this is where she's been and, and still comes, mm -hmm. so... And yeah. what would you tell people? What is the beauty of your Catholic faith? Why are you Catholic? Oh, why am I Catholic? Well, primarily because that's the way I was brought up. My, f my family was Catholic, but it just, in terms of Christianity, it's the original, you know, it's, you know, and uh, so and I guess it's the, the purest form. You know. Yes, very so, good, exactly. Yeah. I, I made a long journey, I went away and I came back, mm -hmm. I passed through Protestant evangelical churches, and mm. it's the purest form, and the original one, like you said, made the same experiment. Right. You go regularly confession, how is that? Uh, I went to confession, um, yeah, and uh, it, it was a, a very nice priest, yeah. uh, so, uh, you know, wow. yeah, it's, it's not something that I do often enough, uh -huh. okay, but... But you did it here? Yes. Mm, well, said, this, is yeah, the, wow. the, this is the confession of the world. Yes. So, and what uh, would you tell now people? I mean, there are a lot of people out there. They're mm. Catholic on the paper. Maybe they hear that now and they now they think I should go too to confession and they're scared. What would you tell them now after your experience of confession here in Metodon? Um, You have to do it. It, it really uh, it, it, just, it just purges your soul. Mm -hmm. that, that's all I can say. Yeah. Um, you know, like Father Leon said, is uh, once you, once you get forgiven, forgiven like it never happened, and you just carry on with your life. 
and you felt so, light yes. being there at the confessional, light oh, for sure. and free afterwards. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. So. And you said you start praying the rosary a little bit now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is yeah, that so. a point here in Medjugorje that brought you closer to that prayer? Um. Well, exactly. You well, the rosary, like I said, it was very, very few and far between. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, that I prayed it before, but uh, you know, I say I didn't really know how to do a proper rosary. Okay, uh, but I'm learning again. Beautiful. So, we all yeah. yeah. have <laughs> step by step, no deepening our faith, new experiences, sharing. Yes. Yeah. And and, and you, you yeah, learn say. about you learn about the power of the rosary. Yes. Which is which is surprising. You see it. Yes. Like mm. Pater Pio says, the rosary is the weapon of our times. Right, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you have this piece now. And looking back at your life, what would you tell your younger self, maybe, you know, to have this peace and to have this joy and younger people who are listening? Oh, well, that's a really good question. Uh, yeah, but basically just get, get involved, you know, you know uh, come to Medjugorje, learn, uh, never stop learning. I think that's the most most important thing, you know, because uh, uh, you know, because I realized when I when I got out of school, I really hadn't done anything to further my understanding of theology, you know, in 30 years, and it says like you know I've kind of stagnated, so so I'm just trying to learn more and and be better. You have a favorite so, saint? Do I have a favorite saint? Yeah. Hmm. Just pops up, if not uh, okay too. Yeah, well, um, St. Anthony's always had a, had a presence uh, in my life. Um, but I think that's a... Mm -hmm. Did you ask him like when you lost something? Because a lot of, a lot of people ask him when you, when, when you lose your the key or something. Say, Where, where's the key? Say, that will help me? Or yes. Just like that. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that, that's a, kind of a funny thing, but yeah. somehow... <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> he stayed. He was there. It, it, it works out, yeah. Yeah? yeah. And do um, you have a favorite Bible scripture? A favorite Bible scripture? Um, you don't have to know it by heart, just like the sense of it, what pops up in your mind? Gosh, there's so many I can't, you know, you know, well, the Beatitudes. Uh, yeah. You know, beautiful. You choose so, the center of it, of the message, no? right? Yeah. So, you know, but basically, just do unto others as you have them do unto you. So, you yeah, know. it's beautiful. That's exactly simple, mm. basic things. No? Mm -hmm. You find also that when walking up the hill, you come to the roots, to the basics again of our faith. Walking mm -hmm. up the stones, if you have them here, that people can see. That's the way up. It's quite hard, no? It, it's more challenging than you would think, yes. and uh, when I see some people walking up, I can't help but one, wonder that that's a miracle unto itself. Yes, that they're able they to, to, to make up. Oh yeah, like uh, people that you would see on the bus, you would have to give them your seat. Yes. Okay, <laughs> but they're, they're making up the mountain. It's just, it's, it's yeah. S same experience. Yeah. And um, what would you tell people, like a lot of people here look for their vocation in Medjugorje, especially young people. Mm -hmm. Out of your life experience, how do you find your vocation? Oh, yeah, that, 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 that's a hard one, you know, because when you're, for young people, they had, don't have enough life experience. Yes. You know, I, I would think of like a middle-aged person who wants to change jobs or change careers, Uh, they're not going to ask an 18-year-old for advice because they don't have the experience. But that's the situation that young people are in, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, but uh, but the beauty of youth is that you're open. Mm -hmm. You can be open to so many different things, you know. And uh, considering the vocations is definitely uh, a, a good thing to consider, you know. Ask so. the will of God maybe in your life, mm -hmm. and it will be done. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, uh, yeah. I mean, I have a, a brother-in-law who became a deacon um, after my sister passed away, and uh, you know, and uh, and it's worked out very well for him. He's he's very happy. So he's so, doing it from the heart, as Our Lady says. Oh, 100%. hundred percent. Yes. Mm -hmm. Beautiful.
And yeah. then and again, what would you tell people? Why should they come on time here to Metzgeria? You should. Well, anytime we travel, we we travel in search of experiences. Uh, and the experience that you'll get in Medjugorje is different than the experience that you'll get anywhere else. And it's a, it's a fulfilling and, 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 uh, and very worthwhile. Wow, beautiful. And at the end, like, which is the favorite place? Is it Operation Hill for you so far in Medjugorje? What do you like most? Uh, well, uh, well, yesterday I went to uh, the Cross Mountain, and uh, that was challenging. Okay, uh, but uh, I think I like Operation Hill the best. Operation. Yeah. Yes. The gentleness mm -hmm. up there with Our Lady. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, because because that's well, I guess that's where she was. Yeah, and so, is. And is yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you so, so much yes. for that beautiful interview. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you.